my brothers and sisters there is a tendency in every one of us that when we pray for certain intentions and certain interventions of god in our lives we pray 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 but nothing seems to be happening and then we give up we lose hope we get tired we get weakened and we think nothing seems to be happening there is not there is no reason for hope and then they get they give up prayer life they give up trusting in the lord they give up even following god that is not a good tendency because the reason why i say this every prayer that we make one way one way or the other it will produce some effect no prayer will go in vain even though your intended decision or desire is not fulfilled god knows how to settle the issues that you are facing in your lives he will do it he will do it in his own way he knows the best we think certain ways are the best but god knows many other ways we have only one solution for our problem but god has hundreds of solutions for our problem therefore when we see one solution which we have which is not getting fulfilled and then we get disappointed and hopeless become hopeless but god says for you you have only one solution and when that is not happening you are disappointed but for your problems i have hundreds of solutions therefore just trust in me and hold on to me continue praying do not lose hope for example when you are cutting a tree suppose if you are cutting a tree and you are cutting with your axe one cut nothing happened to the tree second cut third cut 10 cuts 20 cuts 30 cuts but nothing happened to the tree after some time you come to know you are getting tired and the tree is still strong there are people who feel like giving up because they feel the tree is not going to fall down because after 190 cuts nothing happened so many cuts i did but nothing seems to be happening and i'm getting tired and i can't even lift the axe anymore because i'm so tired of this cutting but one thing you do, should not forget one thing we should never forget after all this cutting though you are getting tired the tree is also getting weakened the tree is getting weakened each and every after each and every cut so today or tomorrow it will fall down it has to fall down provided you continue cutting the the tree the same way if god if you want that uh, enemy to be defeated if you want your intention to be fulfilled if you want god's intervention happens in your life one way or the other as according to the desire or will of god continue trusting in the lord continue praying god will do mighty things unimaginable things in his own way